Hello everyone, welcome to the new video series of Azure DevOps. In this video series, we are going to see 30 videos in Azure DevOps in 30 days. In this video, what we are going to see is under boards, we have an option called as delivery plans. So this is what we are going to see in this video. So what is delivery plan and what is the purpose for creating it? Make use of delivery plan to ensure that your team is aligned with the organization goal. Let's say, for example, you have several project, project one, project two, project three. What if they have dependencies across the project. Let's say for example, feature D from project one is interlinked with feature E of project two. So they may have dependencies as well, right? So in that case, you can use this delivery plan to ensure that you are aligned with the goal. And at the end of this video, we will see about tips and important points. So don't skip the final part of my video. I'm currently under boards. So this is my project. So this project I have generated from Azure DevOps demo generator. I'll be providing a video URL where you will see how you can generate this kind of project, which will have all the work items from the scratch. So it will have everything. You can just simply go ahead and create a delivery plan. And now let's proceed to create a new plan. Let me name it as future plan of org. And here you could create a delivery plan across the project as well. Let's say, for example, in case if you want to create a plan with a sales project also, you can just select the the project from here and the team from here. Let me go with this project itself. And here you could select the team which you want and which backlog you want to pull. I want to pull futures and let me add one more. And this time I'm going with a different team and you could select backlog of stories as well. But for my scenario, I'm going to create a delivery plan for my future alone. So let me select future and you could add a criteria as well. Let's say for example, in case if you want to pull only the future which is having priority to you can just do so from here which i don't want so let me delete this and let's create a delivery plan with this and it got generated and here if you see you could collapse everything and you could maximize as well and here you could see the timeline you can just simply just scroll over here you could maximize or minimize here as well in case if you want to zoom out you can zoom out and you can zoom in and this is called as today's marker and it is showing up today's 6 by 10 and it is starting off iteration 2 and if you see here collapse card fields if you just click on this the state and all it went off you can just enable it so here you could see as well and let's go to setting first so you can change the plan name from here and you can add a description and in case if you want to see multiple teams over here, you can just select this and field criteria, which we saw earlier, meaning like if you want to uh, filter out the future, which is having priority to, you can just do so from here and markers. We have today marker over there, right? Let's add one more marker. And this time let's provide a date. And this application is going to be visible privately only, meaning like this is not available for the user till this date and let me color code as well this will be in yellow and let me add one more marker and let me provide an another date public view or public access from this date this application will be publicly available and you could change the color if you want green is good and let's save it let me zoom out and here if you see the application should be available internally from 6 by 18 after that it should be available publicly from 7 by 26 which means maybe end of iteration 3 or maybe in mid of iteration 4 i haven't add iteration 4 yet but anyway now let's go back to settings and let's go here we have covered about marker let's see about fields so in case if you want to show ids and if you do not want to see the state of it just uncheck it and in case if you want to see any additional field you can just select from here let me save this and see and now if you see it is showing up the id of the feature and it is not showing up the state which it is showing up earlier now let's go back to settings let me undo and let's go to style you could add styling rule as well just click on add a styling rule i'm going to provide a rule name for my styling and I could color code as well. I'm going with light green. 
and here you could add bold italics underline as well which I don't want and in case if you want to enable or disable you can come back here and disable it and based upon which field you want to create a rule I am going with iteration path so if it is in current iteration I need to show that all the user story in light green color let me add current iteration so this is the current iteration in case if you want to see next iteration you can just click on plus this particular one let me go with current iteration let's save it see what are the feature is in current iteration it's showing up in light green now let's talk about dependencies this is an important concept before we proceed i like to highlight that it takes a lot of effort to make a video like this so i request you to subscribe and hit the bell icon as well super thanks is now enabled on our channel in case if you wish to contribute i would really appreciate it now let's see about dependencies let's take these two features 775 and 782 i'm going to add a link between these two let me add a link this is an existing item so link type so whether this is successor or processor what is a successor processor is the first item which is supposed to be done and successor is the next item mm, let's say for example let's assume like a door is locked first you need to put the key in the lock next you need to open the door you cannot do in a vice versa right you cannot open a door and you cannot put a key because it is already locked so this is called successor and processor in this case putting up a key is a processor and opening up the door is the successor let's say for example let's go with successor and 775 so this is the one let me add a link first and let's save and close let me refresh first and here you have an option called as show all dependencies let's select this and here if you see it is showing in red color why because this is the processor and this is the successor successor is included in the first iteration processor is in the second iteration which is not going to work right first you need to complete this feature then only you need to start working on this so that is why it is showing up in this red color so let me just select this and let me zoom in actually this will show up in red color but uh, i guess sync up issues there for these and all it is showing up proper icon if it is having proper link it will showing up in green let me refresh see now it is going up in red this is not having a proper planning so let's do a replanning i am going to address this in third iteration and now if you just simply tap this this is showing in green previously it will be in red let me show one more time see previously it is showing up in red now if you just move this to third iteration it should be green see this is green if you refresh in some time it will turn to green let's duplicate this tab let's see whether that sync issue is resolved see after reloading uh, it got solved now it is showing up in green and now you could use the filter option as well let's say for example if you want to see features assigned to a particular assignee you can do so from here and here you have an option called as full screen it will show the plan in a full screen and in case if you want to show the future which are having a tag you can just add a color to your tag let's say for example if you have added a tag you could just it will just simply come up from here and you could color code but none of my feature are having a tag that is fine let's cancel this and what else is left and now let's pick up this particular feature and here if you see start date and target date is there let me define a target date for this let's save and close the card got changed if you just open up here we have assigned this to iteration one but since we define and target date somewhere at the end of the iteration 2 it is showing up a code like this and if you notice we didn't specify a start date that is why it is taking up the iteration starting date as this in case if you have defined a starting date let's say for example it will just change up something like this 
I guess we have covered most of the items. Let's proceed to delivery plans. In case if you want to create multiple delivery plan, you can do so from here. And if you just select this and click on security, you could customize the security part of this particular plan. Let's say for example, DBA team. So I'm just providing access to this DBA team now. So whether the DBA team can delete this particular delivery plans, no, I'm going to deny it. Whether they can make changes in this particular delivery plan, yes, they can. Whether they can manage it, yes, they can. And view permission is already showing us allowed. So I'm not going to change this. And now let's talk about tips and important points. You could view only 20 team backlog in a particular delivery plan. It could be from different project as well, but everything should be within the same organization. You could have quarterly delivery plans for futures. Let's say for example, you could gather whatever the teams which are having dependencies on a quarterly plan and you could plan your features and you could have monthly sync up meeting so that in case of change of alignment you can just discuss and you can sync up you need to specify start date and end date of each iteration and you need to assign iteration path to the particular work item when start date and target date are defined for a particular work item it will always overrides and that's it on this video we have a lot of concepts to cover. I request you to hit the bell icon. Then only you will get a notification whenever I'm uploading new videos. I'll be providing the WhatsApp and Telegram channel URL in the video description. Please do join. Follow me on LinkedIn to stay connected. Thank you. Bye-bye.